This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an extensive platform to create a modern and beautiful online presence. I tried to ship your Etsy shop orders today, but most of the orders are international and Royal Mail is on, not strike, but there was like a cyber attack. So they're stopping all international shippings. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to give them to you guys and I'm really sorry, but this is just what we're dealing with right now. Hopefully by the time this video is up, like everything should be fine and if you haven't gotten your prints yet, you should soon. Hopefully, fingers crossing. Also, I brushed my hair for the first time in like eight months. I only brush it like a few times a year. But it's so fluffy now and I kinda, I kinda dig the fluffy look. I think I'm gonna finish under glazing and glazing this today. It would have been cool to have it done for Chinese New Year, but I just completely forgot about it. I realized I haven't talked much about my MA project on my YouTube channel, so I guess my proposal or question is how can illustration create a safe space to celebrate Asian women? I was living in New York City when a lot of Asian hate crimes started happening and I think that fear triggered me to create art that's focused on young Asian women like myself. So I have an illustration um, that I did over the summer and I'm not sure if you guys have all seen it, but it's like a bathhouse scene where there's a lot of like naked women. That was a childhood memory of going to public bathhouses with my mom and grandma over the summer in China. I remember seeing all these different types of women and because I was so young, I wasn't even aware of what it means to be sexualized or to have shame or guilt of our bodies. But I knew and felt that the environment felt so normalized and natural and safe. In a lot of Western cultures like America, being in a public space naked is considered as weird and wrong. So I like never told anyone about this because I felt embarrassed even though it was a happy memory. And so through illustration, I want to create a space for Asian women to feel safe to be who they are in terms of like our culture as a collective, but also down to the individualized self of being comfortable in our own bodies and features as if they were seen through the untainted lenses of my child self. So I started creating all these like different types of artworks with different mediums like ceramic, silkscreen, and like tufting. And I think ultimately I would want to create a physical space and to have all these pieces kind of arranged and presented in a way that conveys my theme of just building a safe space and making it celebratory and comfortable and home-like for people to walk into and experience. Okay, I don't think I've ever shown you my student accommodation. Um, so the first time that I'm showing you is this disastrous state. I don't even know why I'm filming it. I think it's so I'm being held accountable now that it's on camera. But we're gonna transform this, okay? Like, we're gonna fix it, guys. Don't worry. I just want to emphasize that at least my sink is clean with no dirty dishes and my pot and pan is clean with no food because I don't I don't like dirty food outside okay are you ready wow this took me like two and a half hours but it's so nice now but honestly it's probably just gonna get messy again after like two days I started reading a couple days ago and it's sadly my first book in months. 
I think I read quite a few books over the summer, but then I just stopped since I since I started my master's, which I guess is understandable, but at the same time, I just really want to make this into a habit because I feel like I'm missing out on so many wonderful stories and insights. So if you guys have any really good book recommendations, please, please comment below and let me know. I also really want to draw every day. Now that I said that out loud, it sounds <laughs> kind of impossible. I mean, not really. I am an art student, but uh, I mean like actual digital illustrations. There we go. Like an illustration every day. But I think I should just lower my standards and maybe do a sketchbook page every day. It's hard to stay motivated to draw and you guys comment and ask me how I do it. But what you guys are seeing is only like, I mean, it is my life, but it's like a condensed version where I'm only showing you like the productive art side of it. So please don't feel bad and feel like you're not doing enough because... I'm sure you are, and even if you're not, then your body is probably taking a much needed rest and you deserve to rest. A little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create websites and help your business grow. They have so many different chic and unique templates to choose from, which makes it so easy, especially for me, someone who isn't really great at technology and website building. I use it to display a variety of my works. They also have image blocks that automatically scale or fit images to ensure they always look right on your computer or phone. You can also connect your social platforms to Squarespace as well as your Etsy shop. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash purplekabocha to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I went drawing with my friend Leslie again. Um, she did her first little painting of the year. It honestly feels very nice to be in a space and atmosphere and just draw what you see on paper using actual materials. I feel like because we stare at our laptops and iPads and phones so much, our eyes are desensitized to the subtle, beautiful colors in nature. Um, this is Leslie trying to clean the window because it was like foggy and she couldn't do it because I think the water was like stuck between two glasses. The floors were so cute, oh my god, and look at my new boots! Anyways, this was a really cozy cafe that we went to and I enjoyed it a lot more than Frozen Dartmoor. Yeah, the fledglings. No, you can talk. You're not gonna use it. I don't really use the audio. The fledglings are the dirtier ones. They don't get to be white until they're like a couple years old. Many nights 
stories that I've told and many secrets that I hold. Not ready to see the truth unfold. Didn't know that time could go so slow. If only I just listened to you. So I got my period last night at like 11 p.m. and this morning I was like why do I feel like I need to shit? But I just did so I don't need to shit. But since I never really get period cramps my brain was just confused on what was this feeling so i guess we're starting that now in 2023 i see people do like the thing where they covered their cupid's bow so it's like like it's just a semicircle and like the little bow is just covered that doesn't work for me like i just look like a fucking fish Look how gorgeous the sky is today. Oh my god, there's a bird passing by. Hello, bird. I just walked to Hobby Craft. I'm so tired already and I don't know why I'm getting cramps all of a sudden. But I came here because I wanted to get some paint markers so I could use that for my sketchbook. Because I want to incorporate more color into my sketchbook and just play around more. Because I feel like a lot of the illustrations I do are pretty like tight and refined. Um, and also I want to get some yarn because... I might go tufting later, but just thinking about how heavy that tufting gun is and like my cramps, it just doesn't go well together, but I might see how I'm feeling and I might do it today. Oh my God, shut up. Literally shut up. I wanna paint on these so bad. Oh my God, I love it. I'm gonna get like 20. I don't think I have the energy to tough today. I'm just like so drained. Um, so I walked back from 
hobby craft to the common studio space and I'm just gonna show you some of the supplies that I got because that's exciting. I've already emptied the paint marker and the oil pastel into like this little tub that I got and I also got these artist brush pens and they're like in different shades of gray and I feel like that would be fun. Got my little sketchbook with me um, and we're just going to try these materials out. You know what I literally just remembered? Do you remember how I made like a lunch sack out of clay and ceramics? That was like so long ago, but I don't know where that is. Like I literally just remembered its existence. I haven't seen it in months. Do you remember that? Where is it? I'm so confused. <laughs> Where did my ceramic bag go? I think I'm gonna go right now to like look for it. I just haven't thought about it in so long. I feel so bad. It must be like, Sunny, you forgot you made me and you left me alone. Found it. So I did fire it after all. It was fired. Bisque fired. So, oh, well, that's a relief. That's good to know that I'm not losing my pieces. I think these are working glasses, but they're kind of a vibe. Whoa. It's kind of scary. Everything's super dark. Let's try the green ones. I really dig this. Like, I literally thought someone left their sunglasses here, but I'm pretty sure these are like, I don't know, when you open the kiln or something. Look, makes everything green. Is that dust? Literally, what am I doing with my life? Thank you. 